Hi there, it's Saira here and you're watching Explodi FPS. So many people are trying to enable secure boot from BIOS and after enabling it, they still face issues like their secure boot is not active or deployed properly. This issue occurs mostly on Gigabyte motherboards. At least, I have seen this issue so far on Gigabyte motherboards, but other motherboards might also have this problem. Also, I noticed that this is kind of glitchy or bugged and you can easily fix it. Now, I can't record my motherboard screen properly. So what I did was take screenshots of all the steps and try to show you a demonstration. First of all, restart your PC and go into your BIOS by clicking on the Windows icon, then go into the Settings, Gear icon. Look for Windows Update, then look for the Recovery option in the left side panel on Windows 10. Then, select Advanced Restart, just click on it, and restart your PC. Once you're in the Advanced Restart, go into Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, click on it. Now look for the UEFI option and click on it to boot into the motherboard settings. In the motherboard settings, according to my current motherboard, go into the Advanced tab. Mostly, these settings are available in the Advanced tab, Security, or Boot options. You can find them easily. In the Advanced tab, look for Windows OS configuration. If there's no configuration, then look for the security option. Once you're inside the Windows OS configuration or security, whatever option you have in your motherboard, look for the secure boot option. Now here, people might get confused if they don't see the secure boot option. Secure boot works only with UEFI mode instead of BIOS CSM or legacy mode. So turn your BIOS into UEFI by clicking on BIOS CSM slash UEFI mode. Note, if you enable UEFI mode and your Windows is installed in MBR, your PC won't boot unless you either reinstall Windows in GPT or revert the mode back to legacy or CSM, whatever mode you had earlier according to your motherboard. Because UEFI supports GPT partition schemes and BIOS CSM, also known as legacy mode in simple words, supports MBR. Anyways, now let's get back to the topic. Click on the secure boot option and make sure it's enabled. As you can see, it's disabled in my case currently, and I did it just to show you guys, so enable it. Once you enable it, restart your PC and see if it's active or not. In Gigabyte motherboards, it shows whether it's active or not, so make sure it's active. If it's not, or even if your motherboard doesn't show whether it's active or not, you can simply log back into Windows and check in system information. Click on the Windows icon, type system information, and open it. Once you open it, look for secure boot state. It will show either on or off. Okay, now if it's still not on, then click on secure boot mode and choose the custom one. Now in my case, it's showing maximum security and the second option is hardware slash OS compatibility. Choose maximum security, then again switch back to standard secure boot mode. This will ask you install factory defaults. Press yes. It won't delete your saved information, but if somehow you used it before and are now facing issues, then this will definitely keep your information. Once you click on yes, it will ask you reset without saving. Click no, otherwise if you click yes on this option, it will reset but delete your information. So it's your choice. Both methods will work, but in case it's still not working, you can reset it and compromise. And that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will respond to you as soon as possible. Till then, take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe to Explodi FPS. It's Saira signing off.